Hello friends, welcome. So now let me also give you some information on uh, like when we uh, perform, when we do activation, deactivation, then where exactly this information stored into the uh, database. Okay. So when we do activation, deactivation, plugin keep those uh, information into the options table. So here I can check here active uh, plugins. I believe this is the same. Yeah. So this is the option name active plugins here in the serialized format. You can see uh, what is the uh, uh, what plugins have been activated. So this option only save the plugins name uh, list of the plugins which is activated, not the uh, deactivated. Okay. So currently is hello.php file because only hello dot uh, hello dolly uh, plugin is activated. If I click on activated the movie library, our plugin is activated. Here I can refresh the thing and now you can see hello.php and then movie library and movie library PHP. Okay, so uh, here uh, hello.php has a single file name uh, because it's not within a folder. Okay, but uh, in our movie library plugin, we have plugin folder and in that folder we have a uh, main plugin file and uh, entire folder name slash uh, then main plugin file name uh, will be saved into this option and this way. Uh, it will load the uh, file uh, hello.php and movie library in the sequence in in uh, it will load the plugins in the activation sequence and when we sequence the plugins have been activated okay so for example sometimes you know um, the developers face uh, problems like a user face the problem like when they activated a plugin and and plugin causing the fatal error and it's done like it's a blank screen or anything kind of thing so um, uh, uh, some of the uh, like developers like we use choose to de delete a plugin from the plugins folder and like it's fine like once the plugin is deleted uh, even if it's activated in the database it won't load because WordPress couldn't find that file so it won't load and our site is back or you can just simply go back here uh, in this option and you can just simply remove that and add it again but it, it will be difficult because it is in a serialized format so you have to update uh, delete the plugin and update it again with uh, in the CDLS format so we, it will get recurred so if you are doing this then you have to be more careful but this is the way like we should know as a developer that like we are developing the plugins but how the WordPress also internally keep list of the active plugins uh, and how it's loading uh, on uh, in, in, in our website okay so this is really helpful information and I always recommend it uh, to um, uh, explore the WordPress core file as we have did for uh, to know about register activation hook and register deactivation hook. Okay, so those uh, exploring the WordPress functions uh, into the core file is very helpful and we will know some other information as well like when this function have been introduced and when it's it's modified and everything. Okay, so so yeah, um, so this is the first step about uh, creating the plugin. So in this video we have learned what is plugin, why we make plugins and what are the plugins basics we needed to create the plugin. Okay. So yeah, uh, you can now try it out creating the simple plugin at yourself in your local uh, environment setup and see how, how and how you can create a plugins like you. I know that you have some awesome idea uh, and you can convert those idea into the plugins. Okay. Um, see you on the next video. Uh, Jai WordPress.